You're watching the MTS Industry Show today, coming to you from Supertech, a leading manufacturer of grinding machines, cylindrical grinders in particular. And today we get the opportunity to take a closer look at one of their most advanced machines, the PMG series. Now, normally for a workpiece such as this one here, you would need three separate machines for each processing step. But with the PMG series, you only need one machine. And one man who knows more about this very special machine than anyone else on this planet is Supertech's international sales manager, Eric Chu. Eric, welcome to the show. How are you doing, man? I'm doing fantastic. How about yourself? I'm doing great and I'm looking forward to learning more about the PMG series. But before we talk about the PMG series, tell us a little bit more about Supertech in general and about your product range. Yeah, so Supertech, we have been making grinding machines for over 64 years. Wow, 64 years. That is right. And we make all kinds of grinding machines, including cylindrical grinding machines, surface grinding machines, and centerless grinding machines. But today, we are going to talk about our most powerful grinding machines, the PMG series. All right. Now, I mentioned uh, just a few seconds ago that with this machine you can manufacture a workpiece like this one on one machine. That's so right. it's universal, right? Right, universal. Why universal? So for a standard grinding machines, there are only two axes, right? So the X axis and the Z axis. For plunge type, they are perpendicular. For angular type, they're angled. Mm -hmm. So now let's talk about our PMG, right? Okay. Yeah. So PMG series, we have a third axis so-called the B-axis, right, our wheel head. Back. That's mm -hmm. our B-axis, right? So we have one, two, and there you go. We have a third grinding wheels. Okay, three right. grinding wheels on one machine. Three grinding wheels. Mm -hmm. So first, the plunge grinding wheel. Second, the angular grinding wheel. And last but not least, the internal grinding wheel. Yeah, so we're looking at a machine so that this is, already is a very special feature, a very special structure, right? The design. That is right. Yeah. Normally, so we, your normal machine will have one grinding wheel, maybe two. Yeah, maximum two. So now we have three. Okay. Mm -hmm. So um, we're looking at a machine that is capable of completing all three OD, ID, and end face grinding in one single clamp. Right. Yeah. Which means. You don't need three machines. You don't need three machines, you just need one machine, the PMG series. So that is right. It uh, increases your productivity, I'm sure, right? You yes. save a lot of time. Yes, we save time because when you have three machines, you have to unload and reload. Yep. And that's not only that's time consuming, that's also going to lose your position because you are moving. You're moving, moving the work around. Piece. Yeah. Right. And second, if you have three machines, that's gonna take up a whole lot of your factory space. Absolutely, yeah. Right, three times the space. So we talked about the space, mm -hmm. we talked about time. Mm -hmm. For a lot of our customers, time and space is money. Money. That is right. But the most amazing thing about this machine. What is it? The flexibility. Flexibility, all right. That is right. This machine is so powerful. I mean, just take a look at the table, the variety of the workpiece this machine can do is incredible. Right, so, but the workpiece isn't the only thing we want to work on. Okay. We want to be able to work on our customers' production line. Right, so one of our customers have eight standard grinding machines. Okay. And three. Okay, and in combination PMGs. with his standard machines, he gets a lot of flexibility, I assume? Right, so the combination, the possibilities, are endless. All right, so you've heard it. You don't not only get uh, flexibility in terms of the individual machine, but also in terms of your whole manufacturing setup within your manufacturing plant. Now, Eric, we already mentioned the three uh, grinding wheels, so we want to highlight the wheel head on this machine. So why don't you share a bit more about that? Yes, our wheel head. It uses the roller cam. Okay. Mm -hmm. What's fascinating about the roller cam is it simply doesn't need maintenance so at least for a very long time. Oh, so almost maintenance free. Almost maintenance free. All right. right. And the reason is it doesn't have backlash at all whatsoever. Okay. So maintenance free and backlash free. That is right. So um, in a normal cam, you would have to pay someone to do maintenance. That usually means stopping the machine. 
You don't want that to happen, that's for sure. Yes, that's the last thing we want our customers to do. Stopping the machine and pay someone to do maintenance. Okay, so again, this machine will save you money in the long term as that well. That is right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, another feature we want to talk about is the tailstock, which is hidden back there. So what can you tell us about the tailstock on the PMG? Yes, so for our tailstock, usually when you need to move the tailstock, you would need a crane. Right. But not all our customers have cranes installed in their factories. So you found a solution for that? Yes, good news for them. So to move the PMG's tailstock is relatively easy. Mm -hmm. It's just, you just need to spin it and it will be away and spin it, it will be back. So um, we're trying to make it even more easier, but it's still under uh, development, it's confidential. Okay, so you've got an upgraded version yes, in the making. That's right. A top secret. It's confidential. <laughs> All right, Eric, so we've talked about the tailstock, we covered the wheel head, and we already mentioned the three axes on the PMG series. Now we want to take an even closer look at the machine base, okay. the machine base design. Now we've got one machine base of the PMG series, an original one here in front of us, and we all know how important the machine base is, is for rigidity and stability of the machine and the machining accuracy. Right. So tell us a little bit about your base. Yeah, so our base is the foundation of our machine. And Supertech, we are famous for doing heavy cutting. Okay. Yeah, and we're able to achieve that mm -hmm. because of our track design. All right, so what's special about the design? So here you can't see it, but our X-axis, uh -huh. we have the super wide double V design. Okay. And our Z-axis, we have one V and one flat design. So double V guideways there. Right. And here we've got one V design and one, and flat, one flat design. Mm -hmm. That is to increase the contacting face mm -hmm. of the tracks. Okay. Right. Secondly, the perfect distance between the two tracks is absolutely crucial when it comes to heavy cutting mm -hmm. because it provides just the right amount of support, meanwhile maintain its precision. Okay, excellent. Now, I believe, Eric, that when it comes to the guideways, uh, V-shaped and flat, they are all hand scraped, right? Yes, they're all hand scraped and equipped with automatic rubrication system, okay. precision ball screw, server motor, and a precision linear feedback system. Okay, so we've got a linear feedback system, we've got a server motor, we've got the precision ball screws and an automatic lubrication system. Right, talking about lubrication, our slideways, ball screws and spindles are all continuously lubricated to ensure long service life and to maintain its maximum accuracy. Okay, maintaining maximum accuracy. Right. Excellent, so that was the base, but we want to move on to our next topic, which is temperature control. Right. Okay, let's uh, move back to the PMG here. And a key word when it comes to temperature control is heat dissipation. So what can you tell us about the PMG series in terms of temperature control? So the current of the cutting fluid is also considered when designing this machine. Okay. And we make sure the fluid flows through most of the surface of the entire machine. Mm -hmm. Not only it will keep the temperature down, it will also wash away a lot of the metal scrape down. Okay. So that's how we keep our machine cool and clean. Cool and clean, I like it. So Eric, we have one more component that we want to talk about and that's the encoder, right? Yes, so one should not underestimate the importance of the encoder when we talked about precision. And we use one of the best encoders in the world, which is the Heidenhand encoder. From? Germany. Germany, all that right. That is right, and we trust them very much, they're wonderful. So the most beautiful thing about the absolute linear encoder is that it requires no previous travis to provide the current position. And that's how we take our machine to the next level. Taking it to the next level with the PMG series. So Eric, I believe we've covered the most important the key features of this machine. Yes. I mean, of course, we cannot talk about all of them. Mm -hmm. But if you are interested in this machine, if you want to learn more about it, of course, you can contact Eric, contact Supertech at any given time, or you can just go to their website to find out more. But we're not done yet. Now it's time to talk about the industries and the applications of the PMG Universal Grinder. So let's walk back to our work pieces here and we can see already the wide range of parts that you can manufacture with this machine. But actually, this is just a small selection. So. Tell us a little bit more about the industries and applications for this machine. Yeah, so we pretty much covered all the industries from aerospace engineering and 
as you can see, the automotive, automotive. industries mm -hmm. and the cutting and tooling industries as well. So as long as your workpiece is cylindrical, we got it. Okay. Now, Eric, maybe you can walk us through your sales process or how you help a potential customer determine whether or not the PMG is the right machine for him. Yeah, so, I mean, if you want to just call me and tell me, hey, Eric, I want to buy 10 of these. You'll be very happy. Of course. But <laughs> we don't live in a perfect world, right? So we have a standard operating procedures to take in orders. First, we look at the diagram of the workpiece you mm -hmm. want to work on, and we'll give you the cycle time, the yield rate, and most importantly, we'll tell you how to lower the cost to make this workpiece, to make it happen. Mm -hmm. So usually our customers contact us to seek for answers. And the answer might not be the PMG, the answer might be the other grinding machines, but we'll provide you with the most suitable solution. Okay, suitable solutions and uh, answers, individual answers for every single customer. That's right. So how about customization of the PMG series? So there are quite a few optional accessories mm -hmm. you feel free to add on, okay. such as the pneumatic and hydraulic chucking system. And of course, we also have um, automation accessories, mm -hmm. such as the robotic arms to do the reloading and unloading mm -hmm. and an off-site measurements. Those are all optional, just to name a few. Okay. Another topic I'm sure that is very important for potential customers is quality control. So maybe walk us through your inspection process. Yeah, so we follow the standard quality control procedure, which are the IQC, IPQC, FQC, and OQCs. Okay, Yeah. So now one by one. Yeah, one by one. So first, our incoming quality control. So when the material arrives the factory, we make sure we carefully make sure that everything is actually perfect. Because as you know, our machine requires very high precisions. So we have to make sure everything is perfect from the very beginning. And that's your IQC. Okay, that was the IQC. And now we want to talk about the in-process quality control, IPQC. Right, so at every single stage, our technician records the inspection results on the booklet we have on all the machines. Mm -hmm. So when we're having issues on building the machines, we will look back on the booklet and look for answers. And that's your IPQC. All right, then we move on to the next step. It's the final quality control before shipping, right? Yes, so for final quality control, we don't just do it once or twice. We let the machine run for days after days. Um, for a lot of our customers, they work our machine 365 days, all day, every day. 24-7. 24-7. That means day and night. So our machine should be able to take that easily. And there we have your FQC. All right. And finally, last but not least, very important, OQC. Right. Outgoing quality control. Right. So we make sure, double make sure, triple make sure everything is perfect before we ship it out to our customers because our customer expects nothing but the highest, highest standard from us. See, grinding machines, we usually stand on the very last stage of there. the customer's mm -hmm. production line. Mm -hmm. So if we mess up, everything is done. So it's very, very unforgiving. That's why we have to do our quality control over and over and over again. All right, and not just for the PMG series, but for all your machines, all for Supertech all machines. All Supertech machines. All right, Eric, thank you very much so far, but I do believe you have prepared a few, uh, some of the most common questions that you get from potential customers and current customers about Supertech and about your machines, right? Yes. And we'll be answering them in a few moments, so you don't go anywhere. We'll be back shortly with the Q&A session. And we are back. This is the Q&A session today with Supertech's Eric Chu. Eric, are you ready? Yes, I am. 
All right, so let's jump right into it and let's kick it off with a simple question, but I'm sure a very important one for your customers, the delivery time. Right, every single customer have this same question. When can I have my machine? I'll ask them another question. When do you need your machine? <laughs> Probably they're gonna say ASAP. No, they say it's yesterday. Oh, <laughs> okay. No, okay, so back to serious. I can't really answer your question with the exact time frame, but what I can say is we pre-order our machine base. Okay. So we're looking at um, to shorten the delivery day for about a month. All right. So it takes a month for the base to be done. Mm -hmm. So not only does it shorten the delivery date, the longer the machine base sits around, the steadier the base gets. Okay, got it. So you'll do everything you can to deliver the machine as quickly as possible, but it always depends what type of machine and right. as we said, uh, are there any customizations or not and whatnot, right? Yes. All right, now Eric, we talked a lot about the machine in the background, the Universal Grana, the PMG series and its features and what makes it special. But let's also talk a little bit more about the company, Supertech. So what differentiates Supertech from your competitors? That's a very good question. It's a very I know. big Thank question you. too. Um, experience. Experience. You experience mentioned it before, 64, 65 years? Right, 64 years. So experience isn't a thing that you can just buy the most expensive equipment and try to make up for it, right? right. Um, Supertech has over 64 years and that's a half, over half a century we're talking about here. And Throughout these years, we have dealt with all kinds of different customers and we have overcame more difficulties that you can ever imagine. Rigidity. We don't just refer to our machines. Rigidity. Okay. That's relationship we're talking about. All right. So here's a triangle. Here we have Supertech and here we have our customers. And at the final corner, our suppliers. Big, big thank you to our suppliers. They are the one who is always there when we need help so that we can be there when our customers need us. So our job is to keep this cycle going. Okay. Yeah, believe it or not, our repeating orders from customers are amazing. People come back to us all the time. Okay. Yeah, so what was the question again? Why Supertech? Yeah. Of course, Supertech. Okay, that is why you have to choose Supertech. Now, Eric, you just mentioned that you had to deal with all kinds of customers, all kinds of issues throughout those 65 years. And I'm sure as a company, Supertech had to deal with technological progress, yes. especially in the most recent history. Mm -hmm. So what's your strategy there? How do you stay ahead of the competition? Customization is my answer. So as you know, we have been in the industry for quite a while now, and we have been finding unique and better solutions until this day. Mm -hmm. And the best example to that is... The machine there? Right, our PMG, as you know, the flexibility we have, same thing applies to our company, right? So the better answer to that is Supertech's ability to adapt. Okay, adapting to market trends, adapting to technological progress. Yes. Until today for 65 years, but hopefully also in the future. In so the future. What are your goals as a company? What can we expect from uh, Supertech in the coming years? First things first, we want to make our machine sharper, steadier, last longer, and most importantly, we want to make it more affordable. I'm sure people are happy to hear that. Yes, <laughs> and our R&D department, they are more motivated than ever. We have amazing people, fascinating ideas, but believe it or not, those ideas might be developed by our department, but we were inspired from our customers' feedback. And if you really want to say, the idea actually came from our customers. And we treasure our customers' feedback very, very much because we might have 64 years of experience building the machine, but they're the, the one who has been it. using it yeah. for the entire time. And besides that, we have fully upgraded our ERP system. So everyday operations is going fantastic. All right, so you heard it, uh, Supertech constantly upgrading their manufacturing process, but also coming up with new solutions, new machines and tweaking existing machines. We talked about uh, Tailstock for the yes. PMG series, right? Yes. You're gonna upgrade that? Soon? Soon, very soon. soon. Okay, and new machines hopefully also in the future? New types of grinding machines. All right, and um, your machines are built to last, right? It's very important yes. for you as a company, for Supertech. Yes. You want to give your customers machines that they can use for a very, very long time. Yes. Uh, before the show, actually, you told me that you have a customer who's been using your machine for over 30? 32 30 years. years. Wow. 
Yes. So just about a couple weeks ago, a customer called for service for his 32 years old Supertech grinding machine. And it's like meeting a child you have never met for 32 years. I don't really know that feeling, but a lot of our employees and technicians know that feeling. And in fact, my grandfather built that machine himself. Wow. So from their eyes, looking at that piece of machine, I know that feeling is real. And this is what we have been working for. Wow, a machine that was built 32 years ago, like that's almost as old as I am myself and it's still up and running. Yes. That's impressive. Mm -hmm. So Eric, before we call it a day, let's talk one more time about the PMG series. Let's quickly recap the main features of this machine. Yes, so first, we want our customers to save time, money and space. Second, the flexibility of this machine. We want to keep our customer's option open. And third is the value. See, I'm not saying that the PMG is the greatest machine ever built in this planet. There are a lot of fascinating machines that are built from the States and from Europe. But if you look at the price tag and what this machine can do for you, we are very competitive. And I can assure you that this machine, the PMG, will never disappoint you. If you have any questions about the PMG or about Supertech, please don't hesitate to email us or just give us a call. We will be more than happy to get to know you. Again, one last thing. This isn't just a machine. This is Supertech, your finest solution. Thank oh, you. Wow, okay, Supertech, more than just a machine. Yeah. All right, Eric, we're through. Thank you very much for having us today and introducing the PMG series. My pleasure. And I hope it was a pleasure for you. Thank you for watching the MTS Industry Show at Supertech. See you in the next one. Take care of yourself. Bye-bye.